Using our materials in Cinema 4D with Corona Render Engine is really simple. In first part, I will show how to compile complex material with metallic reflections and in the second, I will focus on material with opacity map and the more advanced material with subsurface scattering. So let's start with choosing right textures for Corona Render Engine from our texture folder. In downloaded folder with the resolution you choose on our website, you can find maps for all major 3D softwares. In Corona, we will use following. Ambient occlusion map, diffuse map, displacement or 16-bit displacement map, glossiness map, normal map, and specular map. And for special materials, we can also use the opacity map, subsurface scattering map, or volumetric scattering map. And this will be shown later on on different types of materials. So let's jump to Cinema 4D. So as you can see here, we got here final compiled Corona material. And you can see the properties of the material like reflections, metallic reflections, the structure of the material. And for our purposes, we will start from the scratch. So I will delete this material. I will go back to my camera view and I will delete this material from, from our plane. And I will create a new Corona material and add it to our plane. Double click on our new material. And as you can see here, only diffuse slot is enabled. But first of all, I will decrease the diffuse color value like this. And I will also enable reflections. And I did that because I want to see better how our displacement map and normal map is affecting the structure of the material. So I will start with structure and I will continue with the reflections and then the color. So I will enable displacement and upload it from our texture set. And as you can see here, we got here two displacement maps. And this one with 16 means that it has 16 bit depth. So there is more information about displacement. The result will be better, but keep in mind it can affect your render time. But since it's quite simple scene, I will use this. And now I will refresh render view. And you can see now how displacement is affecting the structure of the material. So I will decrease it like this. And again, refresh interactive rendering. And it's OK like this. So now I will add a normal map here for some micro texture. So I will enable BAMP slot and I will increase the strength to 100%. And in case of Corona, don't forget, always put in the slot normal layer. And then under this layer, you can upload your normal map. And since the Corona is using DirectX and the normal textures from Revolt are in OpenGL, you have to flip Y channel. And now normal map is correct. And you can see here how it's affected our structure. If you want to play with the value of normal or displacement map. In case of displacement, you can change this number. Uh, and in case of, of normal map, you can change this number. So let's move on to the reflections. Uh, first of all, we have to upload the glossiness map here. And after uploading the texture, you will immediately see how it changed the behave of reflections. It basically tell us where the material is more rough and where it's more glossy. And I choose this material because uh, it consists of three different types of materials like this food, this marble, and there are some metallic parts here. So we have to simulate the metallic reflections and we'll do it by this slot in the reflection 
and I will upload here the texture which is called specular and in version Corona 6 and lower you always have to increase the Fresnel IR value to some big number like above 30 to have correct reflections and now you can see how the material come to life and uh, in this texture I always wanted to simulate the oiled wood so I add some slight metallic reflections in the wood itself so it changed the color of the reflections a little bit and the final thing what we have to do is to upload our color of the textures and we will combine it with ambient occlusion which can bring some self-shadowing to our material so basically I will open the diffuse map and then I will add layers here I can go to layers via this button or this icon and I will click on the image and upload here also ambient occlusion texture and what do we have to do now because you will see it in a few seconds yeah it affects the diffuse color you have to just change the blend mode to multiply and we got final appearance of our material I will rotate a little bit with the scene and you can see we got nice glossy parts of the material nice metallic reflections in this gold in these gold rings and we also have nice wood here okay the next thing uh, what I want to show you is how to work with opacity map so we will jump into another scene so as you can see we got here a really nice example of expanded metal I will rotate with scene a little bit to show you how it looks like and basically only thing what you have to do is to upload opacity map in this slot so we will choose the opacity map from our texture set and your work is basically done so that's about opacity and last thing what I want to show you is the example of subsurface scattering and volumetric scattering and for that purpose I prepared some onyx stones for you so let's start with that and you can see here the final scene with the onyx stone and what is interesting about these onyxes is, is that they are using volumetric scattering maps and subsurface scattering maps and also little translucency and when you turn the light which is actually inner the ball you will see effect like this and that's not all yeah because when you are open our material you will see that we have enabled translucency and we have enabled volumetrics and inside the volumetrics we got texture which is marked as SSS it, it means subsurface scattering and you can find it in the texture set of the onyxes and in the volumetric scattering you have to choose here volumetric scattering mode and uh, then apply the same texture to the absorption slot and put on this the filter because it affects a uh, color of of the light yes so if we desaturate it a little bit it will behave different than if we leave the texture as it was so for me worked pretty well minus 30 percent in the absorption and uh, you can see here that there is the distance in the centimeters and when you will start increasing the distance actually the light will comes out from from our bowl so I will leave the distance like this and you can control the whole effect also with translucency so if it's zero the effect uh, is not there we have to add just translucency and if we adding more and more translucency 
we will add more and more effect. And you can notice here what is happening with the veins. They're actually turning black. And this is how real onyx is behave. Yeah, it means that if you will turn on the light behind the onyx in the scene or in the room where is the night, you will see that the veins are black. But if you see the same onyx on the daylight or on the day lightning, you will see the veins are white. Yeah, so I will leave the translucency, for example, like this, like 27%. It means like it's day, and we got this real, really nice slide effect uh, of lightning that coming out of the ball, and we see the nice white veins of the onyx here, and the nice reflection of this whole material. And I will start to do another thing. I will start to decrease the lightning of the whole scene. So I will open my HDRI light material. And here I will go inside HDRI and I will decrease exposure. And you will see the effect of the veins here. Yeah, it turns to night and the veins are black and the onyx is shining. It looks like some hell or something like this. It's a really nice effect and you can control it right now with translucency. So it, it can be more translucent. You can control it with volumetrics. You can put here more light to the effect. And you can see that we got really, really interesting material. And I really like this one. And the, this function that you can create it like this in the Corona. So I hope you like this tutorial, how to work with our materials in Cinema 4D with Corona Engine. And see you in the next one.